So grandma and you did a lot of uh, uh, cooking yes. in the kitchen during the holidays. Mm -hmm. You were instrumental in all that. Well, it's because my grandmother, she was most of the time she she wasn't homebound. She was at the beginning. She had an operation. She had arthritis, and she had um, she was, at the beginning she had to walk on crutches, and then as she got older, she had to be in a wheelchair. So it, a lot of it fell on me to have to go to the store and do certain things that she could do, like you know, get around in the kitchen in some places. Did you have any brothers and sisters? No, I'm the only child. You oh, are. Yeah. So me and my me and my cousins, we were real close. So we were pretty much all together. I would go and spend the nights with my cousins. They would come and spend nights with me. You know, we were just all hanging around that one. Well, you know, there's so much more I want to know about you. Um, the time is, is gone, but so I just want to fast forward it. I need two seconds with everybody. Either that or everybody gets their own special. <laughs> you know, I. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on going. I, you know, your relationship with God is not it's not a uh, question. Uh, your most proud achievement was your ordination. Yes. When and where did that take place? Um, that happened in I can't remember so long ago. Um, I was part of Unity Fellowship and I was ordained to deacon. Uh -huh. And it was something that I fought for a long time and the one, one thing I've learned about um, religion and God, the more you fight God, the more God knocks you down. Hmm. And, you know, it's like sooner or later you have to realize where your, your past, present, and your future, sooner or later they have to meet. And if they don't meet, then your future is null and void. And that's sometimes you just have to learn that. All right, I think we can stop on that. <laughs> <laughs>